Welcome to this short skills presentation, which is all about how to draw cross profiles in geography. Sometimes they're known as cross sections. They're used to help show changes in the height of the land, shape of a river channel or the shape of a beach. On the left, we can see a basic map showing three separate lines from 10 to 30. Each colored line is a contour line, which shows equal height along that line. To the right of the screen, we can see what these contours would look like for real. It shows a small hill, 34 meters high. Here we have a more complicated map with lots of contours. If you look closely, you can see how high the land is, such as on the ridge in the bottom right being 400 meters above sea level. You can also notice that sometimes the contours are very close together, which indicates a very steep slope, such as the cliffs to the left of the map. Pause the screen and have a good look at the contours and the different landforms they show. Here we have a typical map from an exam asking us to draw the cross profile from A to B in the chart directly below the map. In order to do this, you need a scrap piece of paper and a pencil. To do the, the line, so we mark on A and B. Be very careful not to move the paper. And then wherever the line crosses over the contours, you write them down. The next job is to work out exactly the heights of the contours. So I've got there at 25, and it goes there, so that's 25. And at that point there is 28. And then I have to just work out the others, which I can't see there. So I carefully pull it down. I can see that B is 15. This line runs all the way back down to here at 15. I can see, therefore, this line here is 20. Therefore, that one's 20. And I need to know A, which is also 20. If I then bring it to the grid at the bottom. I place it very carefully here, making sure A and B match up with the sides. I put a cross where they are. Every time they cross the line, 20. 15, there. There's a 15. There's 25. And the final one up here, 28. And then I simply join up the points. And there we have a cross profile drawn.